on as we get our first look at the future of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan, and as always, I'm joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Today, we're going to get a chance to watch the top prospects in the draft paddle it out here in the Rookie Showcase. All the stars of the past March tournament on display here, and no doubt everyone on the floor will be looking to make an impact and turn some heads. You know, all the focus won't be on the guards. As there are some very intriguing big men. Yo, what to do, YouTube? Woo, 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 woo. Full Might here bringing you a great, great, amazing edition of 2K12. Well, anyways, this is like my fifth time in this freaking commentary because my recording software keeps messing up on me. It's kind of pissing me off, but whatever. So, what I've been doing is just talking about, rambling on about whatever it comes to my mind while watching this video which pretty much I do pretty much any video I commentate over that's why I just do live videos most of the time but anyways this is the rookie showcase of Jesse Nash so hope y'all will enjoy it y'all know I was doing one of Jesse Wade but he kinda got out of I don't know what to call it kind of I guess pissed me off because of the rosters and stuff and wanted to get updated rosters so I just deleted him and went with uh, Justin Nash instead because he's more my height like I said in the, my creation video that I prefer playing as people that are my height but playing as like real people not oh uh, I'm Oh, really, I'm, I'm playing. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm playing as like someone that I don't really play as, like six nine, because I'm not really six nine, I'm like six two. So that's why I made my guy six two, and I played. I didn't play point guard in high school because it's in the valley. Freaking, everyone is short, so I'm like the top, one of the tallest people to so put me as post, but. I played every position pretty much. Like, yeah, I played point guard basically at times. Like, I wasn't specified as a point guard, but I, I played it. <laughs> Whenever I got the ball, I could play point guard. Like, I dropped assists instead of our point guards doing that shit. But yeah, even though I didn't play that much either. But we're not talking about that, anyways. So, today I guess I'll talk about jump shots. Like, I was doing another video, I rambled on about jump shots for the whole 10 minutes of the, to my audio didn't record, so sad. But yeah, jump shot, the key in any 2K game right now, I want to say is jump shot. Like, stats, stats are stats, so skill points matters where you have it at, but at the same time, jump shot matters too. Because you could have a ridiculous jump shot, and but yet, like look, you see the jump shot, it has the arc with it. You need to find a jump shot that has a little arc to it. And later on, the skill will matter. See, mine doesn't have arc arc. It's kind of straightish, but yet with an arc at the same time. That's why I don't really like my jump shot. I found one that is a beauty jump shot that I found with Jesse Wade. And I want to find another one that's more my real jump shot. This one right now ain't, doesn't really look like my jump shot either. I need a record myself and post how I shoot the ball so I can find my jump shot yeah. I really hate that play when they make me go under and then it's all clustered up and I always bump into someone I really hate that but yeah uh, so look at that I, I always miss my jump shots yeah, I tell you it matters with the jumper like if you want to shoot threes you gotta get a three point jumper if you want to get shoot mid-range yeah get mid range. I don't think there's really any of them that really mixes with both like you could like it seems like they mix with both but you will make more one more than the other or to me that's how I feel I feel like it is like with um when I in 2k11 I had Michael Jordan jump shot for a long time and in my threes some games I, I was went off and in some games I couldn't make a three to save my life and then I switched to a shower jump shot since everyone knows Richard Lewis is a beast three point shooter. And if you play with me, I'll, I'm Richard Lewis is my clutch guy. I'll make pretty much any three fade away or whatever with them. I don't know about 2K12, but I only played them once <laughs> so far. But 2K11, he was my dude. So yeah, that mate was make it. Yeah. See, one thing I'll talk about later on is why I don't like going for assists. But I'll talk about that later on because there's one point that really pissed me off why I didn't show you. But in uh, 2K11, I switched to uh, Jamal Crawford's because I think his might be a little better mid-range shot than... 
Uh, Which I knew it says. And then I had uh, Brent Berries. <laughs> I want to use these for one uh, pickup game. <laughs> And if y'all know, if you're a good fella, if you're watching this video, you know what I'm talking about. That Brent Berry jumper that saved our behinds and made us win against Vaughn and something. <laughs> so near finish that si uh, series we're having, I guess. Yeah, series. Uh, we're like uh, first to three and we're 2 1 right now. We haven't played single ones, took that cookies. But, uh, yeah, freaking kind of. Uh, we need to do that in the pickup games. I wish that's one thing I wish to add in this was pickup games. That's why I haven't really played my player that much either because I want my pickup games. And crew, we should make a DLC for that. Probably could add it. They added a rookie showcase in there. They could add the uh, crew. Yeah, I don't know why they don't. I mean, they're like too lazy to do all the modifications, I guess. I have no idea. Lazy ass 2K developers. Put all your work in making the legend stuff. Try to impress us with that. No one's impressed with the legends, man. It's all about online nowadays. That's what you gotta work at. Any game these days. If you wanna make a game and you future developers, make sure it's online game. Like, seriously. That's the, uh, the way it needs to go. If it's not online pretty much, it's not gonna be great. Like, probably the only exceptions I would say that's good, not online. In my opinion, the Skyrim, you know, I think, so I heard that it's going to be online eventually, but that's one game I heard that you should, uh, that, that I think I would get more into if it was online, because like, that's why I like my player in 2K11, I, I liked it a lot because I get to play online with someone you get to create, it's like World of Warcraft and Star Wars or Republic. That game is pretty tight, if y'all haven't Here's seen it, I'll probably post a video of that uh, later on. <laughs> I don't know how later on, but I'll probably post one. <laughs> Since it took a little while to post, and I had to do it for a while. Ooh, did I get that rebound? Ooh, we got it back! I saved it for us! <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what was I about? Oh yeah, the online. Skyrim and uh, Kingdom Hearts. That's my baby right there. That's like, one of my favorite all-time favorite games I would pick that game over any Thompson. game pretty much because that game Here's is uh, it's amazing it has all the things I like Disney characters yeah I like Disney so what deal with it and role-playing game where you get to use uh, it's like I guess you could say mix with uh, Final Fantasy, but yet without the stationary plane, if you know what I mean, if you all play Final Fantasy, where you have to like scroll through, click attack, go through, magic, summon, whatever like that. You just do it all button mashing, which I, I like kind of bit. And then you have your support characters like you do in Final Fantasy, but you don't go one at a time there, or like computer gene, you do, ooh, block, get off of me, chocolate violation, yeah. Oh. That brings me to uh, what Azure Effect uh, brought up in one of his videos where they should have a dynamic goal, automatic one, maybe not automatic, but one that like if you get shot clock violation or something with a good D, you get it up to seven. Most of them think they're offense besides the uh, triple single. That one I could never complete because of freaking assist. So I want to talk about, see look I missed that jump right. Get the steal. Pass it to him. Wide open, but I don't know why he took the dribble and he misses the shot. But we get the rebound back, right? Pass it back out. Shoot the three. Make. How in the hell? That's why I don't go for assist. Why don't you just make it the first time when I pass it? Always what it feels like in this game. The game every game freaking hates me. Like, I shoot. Like, in Call of Duty, I, I, you know, I rage so much in that game if y'all watch my live ones, but if y'all don't. Well, I rage you a lot in that game. Watch him, you probably get a kick out of him and laugh your ass off. <laughs> but yeah, you probably would laugh real bad. Because I laugh at myself watching those videos. <laughs> I'm like, really? I said that? Really? I rage that bad? Huh. <laughs> but yeah, and probably the only games I don't really rage much is this game. Well, I take that back. I rage quite a bit at the beginning. But not as bad anymore. Ooh, look at that. Did I get an assist for that too? Oh. Uh oh. Ooh, saw the injury. Ooh. 
And that's Thompson, the guy that's going off for three times. But yeah, um, in this, uh, they all know who all got injured in rookie showcase for y'all. Because in this one, y'all witnessed two injuries. Two. <coughs> it's pretty intense, in my opinion. Even though it's kind of dumb because they get injured, but yet they don't get taken out. I don't know why you don't get taken out injured. Well, I guess we're not that serious anymore, but an injury needs to be taken out for a little while. Gotta go into caution. Do you know what I mean? Big lead on the boards usually yeah. equals a big lead in the game. And this team is on cruise control. Nice. Goaltending. Look at that. We saw that goaltending. And then after that goaltending, it took me out. Kind of pissed me off. Because I wanted to go off. But Kyle Ivory. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. You all see my stats right now, how I did. And hope you all liked it. Take care. Peace. Well, it was a fun one, but the elites just had the better day. And they'll have a little bit of bragging rights here over the stars as the draft nears closer. And although this isn't a league game, you could tell each player out there wanted to win. I mean, no question about it, this was a competitive affair. And there was no shortage of action on either side of the ball. Thanks for joining us for this broadcast of the NBA Rookie Showcase. I'm Kevin Harlan for Clark Kellogg and... Say goodbye.